lesson, we're going to be looking at how to do the Color A project. And this project is a color wheel, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple color wheel. But if you want to be creative with your color wheel and add to it or do it in a unique way, that's fine, as long as it shows the primary colors, secondary colors, and some tertiary colors. And we're going to kind of go over what those are as we go. In order to make the basic color wheel, you need to, of course, open Inkscape. Remember to work inside this triangular canvas area. And we're going to start out with a circle. So click on your circle. We're going to start by dragging out a circle. Then we're going to make another circle on the inside. I'm going to move it where it's centered in the middle of that circle as best I can. I might make some changes to it as I go. My primary colors are going to be in the outer circle and my tertiary are going to be on the inner circle, but first I'm going to divide this. So let's start with our the Bezier curve tool, but in this case we're just going to click at one perimeter, come through the center and double click to make a line. Do the same thing on the other side, trying to keep it as even as you possibly can. Click, come across the center and double click. Then we're going to come and divide this, click, and double click. So now we've divided up our circle into a variety of different sections that we are now going to fill. Now I think that I probably could move this a little bit so I can rotate this if I would like by clicking on that. And I can rotate and adjust to try and make my sections even as even as I possibly can. So what you do is you click, then click again until you get these rotators. Now we can make that as even as we can. So that looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to color each of these sections by using the paint bucket tool that's located over here on your toolbar. Some people have said that they don't have the paint bucket tool. I've kind of checked into this and um, in some cases your screen may not be showing it. There might be a small arrow that'll allow you to see more tools. The hotkey for this is Shift plus Control, I mean, plus F7. Shift plus F7. So you might want to try that if your paint uh, bucket is not working or you can't find it. Um, we're going to select the paint bucket. And um, currently, obviously, I have orange. But I want to do my primary colors first. The primary colors are going to be blue, yellow, and red. So I'm going to just click in this area with the paint bucket, and it fills that area automatically with blue. Now I want to put in a red, and we place, oops, if you click on it, it'll change it. We can, let's go down here and click on another one. If you have this situation, that means my line didn't touch to the edge. So let's zoom in. We're going to take a look at this so you can see it right here. That my line didn't go all the way to the edge of that. So let's undo this red fill. And I'm going to make sure that those lines are touching completely. So I'm going to click on the pointer. I'm going to click on my line. And I'm going to pull that down a little farther and extend it. Same thing for this one, so that um, I have an enclosed area. Now, let's go ahead and click our paint bucket and see if that doesn't help. Now, obviously, I don't want another red one. I want a blue one, so I'm just going to select off my palette, and it'll change it to blue. If I click, and this one I want to be yellow. Okay. So now I'm going to do the secondary colors that are the blends of these. So red and blue together will make purple. So I'm going to select a purple off of my palette. Now remember, you can also use your color wheel here to select a purple if that's not quite the purple you want. And notice that it changes as I turn this. Right, so I'm going to go over here, blue and yellow make green, so I'm going to select a green. And then I'm going to go up here, and this of course, oh, 
I didn't have to change that one because that one is orange and it's already orange. All right, so now I'm going to do my tertiary colors, which are um, increments or divisions of colors within that one area as they transition from one to another. So I'm gonna have to draw some more lines because I'm gonna split these, each of these up three ways. Now, depending on how even your pieces are, it might be easier to just cut it up like this, kind of like a pie, without trying to go all the way across. But you will need to select to create um, three sections in each of these. And I'm going kind of fast so we can get it done here, but try to make it as neat as you possibly can. Just creating those boundaries. Oops, I got that one a little bit small. And I can move these. Um, I may want to zoom in closer to make sure that I've got those areas touching everywhere. So you can see down here that some of my lines are not in the right place. Um, they're not they're not connecting. And that's going to cause some problems when it, when we color. Let's um, let's click on that one too and rotate it and kind of scoot it over this way because they're really not divided very well. All right. Click this one, let's pull it down. All right. Let's see if there's any others here that aren't touching. That one needs a little help. All right, again, those aren't even, but you can kind of see what we're gonna do. This one's really bugging me. Just a little series of adjustments. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if we can fill in these areas. Now I'm gonna back out a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to have this transition from one to the other. So the middle one is going to remain the same color, but on either side, we are going to color it with one that's going to be close to the color it's next to. So in this case, I need a reddish orange and I can actually rotate and find my reddish orange over this way. Well, I thought I could. I can also pick off the color wheel down here if I want to. I don't really have one there. There's my more intense reddish orange. Over here I'm going to have a yellowish orange. So I can turn my wheel a little more of the orange and just kind of make a transition there. This one's going to be a little bit more red than the previous one. The idea is to kind of make this as smooth as you possibly can. This one's going to transition towards the purple side. It's a bit bright. It's going to This one will be a little bit more of the blue. And so you can see how this wheel can really kind of help you because you're just turning around. And then this one's going to be even more to the blue. So we're just going to continue working around this way, turning this wheel, making it a little bit closer to our 
color as we go. We want this one to get more to the green, but that's kind of aqua, so we may have to play with our colors until we get it where we want it. So this one will be a little bit more to the green. This one will be actual green, so we can use our eyedropper to hit the green. This one's going to be more yellowish green. And if it's too dark, I can kind of lighten up this way. Again, with a, even more yellow. You can kind of see how these tints and shades change. And this one's going to be, of course, more over into the orange. But not quite as much as the other one. And there you have it. That's how you make the color wheel. Um, try to make your slices a little bit more even than mine. But hopefully this is helpful. If you have any trouble, please let me know. And um, I will try and help you in my live lesson room. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.